Today we are going to be working on my Color Wednesday blog post for August 3rd, 2016. We're going to be using this super cute image from the CC Design stamp set called Celebrate. I will put a link down in the description box to the stamp set if you would like to head over to the store and grab one up and then color along with me later. Otherwise, I have stamped my image on Nina 80 pound solar white cardstock with Memento Tuxedo Black ink. So let's color! So let's outline our image first. For that, I'm going to use W0, double zero, and my colorless blender. I'm going to start with um, W0, and I'm not going to do anything fancy. I'm just going to start over here at his foot, and I'm going to work my way all the way around to the other side. And I like to do my outlining first, so if I get some on my character or my person, I will have a better chance of erasing it and not messing it up. If I wait till I've colored it, then it's more than likely that I'm going to touch one of the colors I already colored and it's going to bleed out into my um, my area, my colored, the outside. So I just do it first and then I don't have to worry. And we'll go right around this cute little guy. And back down here. And his foot's up in the air, so I'm going to go ahead and go around that one. And then let's do this one here is in the air, too. So let's go up here under the package. And back around. So I pretty much filled that in. And then I'm going to go back around over here to this foot. Like that. And then I'm going to take W00. And I'm just going to color right on the edge of my last color. I'm going to go ahead and fill in this little space right here. And work my way back around to the other side. Let's do just a little bit right here under this guy. And then I'm going to take my colorless blender and I'm just going to lay down on top of my character and I'm going to go over both those colors and out past into my white space. That will smush all those colors together and soften the edge. And this works best if your colorless blender is full or really wet. So it just glides right across the paper. It's not dragging. And I'm going to go ahead and do inside where these little, where I colored all the way into. Next, let's do the mice. For that, we're going to use E31, 53, 51, and 50. And I'm going to start with my E31. Now let's go ahead and start on this little guy's foot right here, or this big guy's foot. I'm going to do a little small line right next to his shorts. And then down here along the bottom of his foot. And then he's got a little crease where his knee is right there, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. And then I'm going to do E53. I'm going to go ahead and color that knee in. And then let's bring this color out. And then we'll go over the whole thing with our E51. And then let's go over here and we'll hop over into his other foot. So again, I'm going to start with my um, E31. And I'm going to go underneath of his pant leg and then down the back of his foot. And I'm going to do, there's just a little bit of space right here on the other side of that foot pad that I'm going to go ahead and do. And then let's do um, E53. I'm going to go ahead and color in his leg and we'll bring this up on his foot. And then we're going to do E51. And 
and then I'm going to go ahead and fill it the rest of the way in with my E50. So his tail, again, let's start with our E31, and I'm going to do a little bit right here next to his shorts, and then I'm going to come along the bottom here just a little bit. And then over here, I'm going to do the bottom side of this swirl, and then we'll add E53. E51, and then E50 right here at the top. Okay, so then again, let's grab your E31. I'm going to do this little guy here, his hand. So I'm going to do the pinky finger or this bottom finger, and then I'm going to go right along the bottom of his arm and his sleeve. And then we'll add E53, and then E51, and then our E50. Alright, so for his face, let's again go with E31, and for that I'm going to do a little dab right here on his ear, like that, and then over here I want to go down the edge of this package. Like that, and then I'm going to grab E53, and a little bit over here to this ear. And then let's do um, this little spot. And his eye doesn't go all the way down here, so I'm going to be careful to keep it outside of that area there. And we're going to do a little bit here in the center of his face. And then right here where he's got a little crinkle for his cheek, let's do a little dab right there. And then we're going to do this side of his eye. Be careful not to color his eye. Okay, and then I want to bring this... And I'm going to add a little bit of color there where I already put my e my E31. Let's bring this up here, like that, and then I want to soften this edge right here, I think I'll bring this out just a little bit more. And then we're going to add E51, so I'm going to go ahead and color his ear in. And then we're going to add a little bit up here, and I'm going to go right around his nose. And then we want to add some to his face. And then we're going to fill it in the rest of the way with our E50. So let's go ahead and go like this. that's it for him. So let's go over here and we'll do this little guy. So again, I'm going to start with my E31. Let's start down here in his foot. So I'm going to go ahead and go right next to his pants. And then along the bottom of his foot, this leg we're going to do right next to his pants. And down the bottom of his foot. And we're going to come up underneath of that little foot pad there. And then we're going to go E53. And then I'm going to do my E50 for the entire thing. Okay, and then we'll go up here and we'll do his hand. So again, grab your E31 
and he's got a little bit of his arm showing right back here. So let's go underneath his arm right here, and then for this one, we're going to go next to his sleeve and down the bottom of his hand, and then we're going to add E53. And then E51. And then E50. Okay, so as for his face, let's skin grab E31. And like the other little guy, I want to do it right down next to the package. Be careful not to color his eye. And then down here where it kind of dips in, I'm just going to keep going straight and then color in that little bitty spot right next to um, the package. <laughs> I forgot what it was called. Okay, so now we're going to do with E53. So we want to brush this color out here a little bit. And then over here, I want to do around his little tooth. And let's see, let's go up here just a tad around this eye. Okay, then we're going to go with E51. So again, let's brush some of this on. And I'm going to go around this eye. And then we'll finish it off with our E50. So now let's do uh, the foot pads and his ears, inside his ears. For that, we're going to use R11, R01, and E50. So I'm going to go ahead and start with my R11. And let's start on this cute little guy over here. So I'm going to go right down the upper side of his ear. And then I'm going to brush just a little bit up from the middle there. And then I'm going to go with R01. And I went ahead and filled it all the way in. And then I take my E50, and I'm just going to go off over that to add a little bit of brown. And then we'll go down here, we'll do this little foot pad. So again, I'm going to go with um, R11. And I'm going to do this one over here too, since we've already, since I got it in my hand. And then I'll go with R01 again. And then over that with my E50. And for this little guy's ear, let's again go underneath the top section, right here, and then brush out from the middle. And then we'll add R01. And then the E50 over that. Okay, let's see. Oh, we better give him some cheeks. So for that, we're going to use R11 and R01. So I'm going to go ahead and grab um, R R11 first. Let's do right over here. And I'm going to try to keep it. He's got a little swoop right here where his nose kind of goes down. So I'm going to start there and brush it away. Same for this side that. And then this little guy over here, I'm going to give it a little dab over here where his whiskers are, and then over here where these whiskers are. And then I'm going to soften that with my R01. So you don't need to do too much, just a little bit on the edge. That. And then, let's see, let's do his nose next. For that, we'll use W7 and W05. So for this little guy over here, I'm going to start with W7. And I'm just going to do a little V there at the bottom. And then I'm going to fill that in, except for a little spot on the top with my W5. 
Oh, I got a little carried away there, but there's a little white line there at the top. I wish I would have made it a little bit bigger, but it's too late now. So now for this little guy, same thing. We go to W7. And we'll do a little bit along the bottom. Make a little V. And then with W5, we will just brush up a little bit and leave a little white patch there at the top. So let's do the sh these shorts over here this time. So we're going to do G29, BG78, BG18, and BG57. I'm going to start with my G29. So with G29, I want to go right next to his shirt. So I'm not going to do too much. Just try to do a small little line straight across. And this little V right here that shows his tummy, I'm going to go ahead and go in there. We're going to say that's a waistband of his jeans or his shorts. And then we're going to bring this down like this. I'm going to go clear across over here. And then a little dab on the short leg right there. And then I do a little dab on the inside of his short pants on this side. And then I want to add BG78 next. So we're going to go ahead and go right along that line we just did. And then we're going to pull out this way just a little bit further. And then this side. Next we'll add BG18. And go along this line. Now I'm going to bring this out right here. And then I'm going to fill it in the rest of the way with my BG57. For a shirt, let's use R56, RV34, R83, and R81. And we're going to start with R56. And he's got just a little dab of his shirt showing on the underside right here. So I'm going to give that a quick little, little slash. And then I want to bring this right along the edge of his shirt. I'm going to go ahead and bring it clear over to the end of his shirt there. And then he's got a little crease right here at the top where his collar is. We're going to do that. And then let's do this crease. And then let's do a little bit coming away from this side of his shirt. And then this side. And we're going to add RV34. I'm going to go ahead and fill this side in. And then over here we're going to brush this. R83. And even though I filled this side in, I'm going to go ahead and go over that. Just add a little bit more of that pink. And then we're going to go across this. And then up on his sleeve. And then I'm going to fill it in with my R81. And then later, to add a little bit of character to it, I took my Sharpie white paint pen and I gave his little shirt um, some dots. For this little guy's shorts, let's use BG34, 11, and 10. And I'm going to start with my BG34, and he's got a little bit of his pants showing underneath right here. So I'm going to go ahead and just color that in real quick. And then we're going to go up the inside of this leg, and then we're going to exaggerate this little wrinkle on the bottom here. And then we're going to go across this leg just a little bit. And then we're going to go with BG11. And we're just going to soften that. And then I want to fill in the rest with my BG10.
and then I went over it a second time. So I'm going to go with my BG34, and don't forget to do the underside of his pants. And then BG11. And then over the entire thing with my BG10. For the little guy's shirt, I'm going to use E43, 42, and 41. I'm going to start with my E43. Let's see here. Let's do right here close to his body and the bottom of his shirt there. And then over here, we're going to go next to his arm and down the inside of his shirt. And then over here, let's do the back. And I think I'll bring it, this little line here, across his sleeve. And then he's got a little wrinkle right here, so I'm going to give that a little dab. Then I'm going to add E42. So I'm going to go ahead and fill this, flat, this sleeve over here in. And then I'm going to do his collar. And then we just want to add a little bit of this to soften that edge. I'm going to go ahead and go underneath of his sleeve on this one. And then I want to fill the whole thing in with my E41. It's got a couple little buttons on this side. I tried to avoid those and I didn't color them in later, I just left them. But you could color them some cute little color or black if you like. Let's hop up here and do the package. For the package, we're going to use R24, 14, 22, and 20. And I'm going to start with R24. So let's do R24 right along the edge here. And I need to replace the nib on mine because it's kind of blunt. It's not pointy anymore, but not right now. So we're going to go right along this, and I'm going to bring it out just a little bit more. And then I'm going to go with R14. And then I'm going to fill it in with my R22. Okay, and then we'll go over here and let's go again with our R24. So for this side, let's do, let me turn it a little bit here. I'm going to go along the bottom. And then we want to go up around his hand, and I'm being very careful. I don't want to color his hand red. And then we'll go along the top of the package. I think I'll brush this out just a little bit more. And then I want to add R14. And then we'll go with R22 to fill it in. pretty good. Okay, so the front of the package. Let's go again with our R24. And I'm going to use that over here next to the ribbon. And we're going to do the ribbon yellow, so try not to color it. Over here underneath the lid. And let's finish all the way across. Let's bring this out just a little bit more. I'm going to add R14. and then our R22 to fill it in. Okay, the other side of the package. So again, grab your R14, and let's, R, sorry, R14, R24. Go along the bottom, careful around his finger. You don't want to color that red. And then we're going to go up the side of this ribbon. Brush that out just a little bit more. 
Now we'll add R14. And then my R22 to fill that in. Alright, so the top of the package. Let's grab R24 again. And for that, let's do up here right next to the bow, like that, and then I'm going to go down behind this ribbon. And then let's add R14. And then our R22 to fill that in. And while I've got my R22, there's a little bit of the package showing through this ribbon right here. I'm just going to dab it real quick so that I don't forget about it. Okay, over here on this cute little side, let's do R24 again. R14. R22. this side with the bow. Again, grab your R24 and we're going to do right up next to the bow. And then R14. I'm going to go ahead and do this front section right here so I don't miss it or actually paint it. And then R22. Okay, so this side over here on the ribbon, let's do R24 on this side of the ribbon. And then R14. And then I'm going to take this R14 on this side of the box right here. And on this side of the ribbon over here. Next we'll do R22. And I'm going to finish up that little bit with our R20. I actually thought I forgot that one, didn't you? For the ribbon, let's use Y19, 08, and 13. And we're going to start with Y19. So let's go ahead on this little spot right here, let's color that in. And then over here, we're going to color in this little spot. And then we want to go just above his finger a little bit. And then I'm going to come over here and brush away from the bow. Like that. Then over here, we're going to brush away from the bow. Got a little bit of red right there on my package, or on my ribbon. And then down here on the bottom, let's go past his fingers again. And right here in the middle of the bow, there's just a little bit of the bow showing underneath. I'm going to color that in so I don't forget about it. Okay, then we're going to go with Y08. And then Y13. And I think I'll go with my Y08 just a little bit up here at the top. And then I'll grab our Y13 again and just brush that a little bit. Soften that edge just a little bit there. All right, so for the bow, let's go with Y19. So all the little bow, the inside part, I want to go right next to the, the, the top. So let's go right along here. 
And then for the actual bows, do that. And this one over here, we're going to go down the middle. And this one over here, again in the middle. And this side, go ahead and go a little bit longer in the middle on that side. Then we want to add Y08. So I'm going to go ahead and fill in these undersides. And then we want to add a little bit to each one of these bow sections. And then I'm going to fill it in the rest of the way with my Y13. And then later, I took my Wink of Stella brush pen and clear, and I went over the entire bow and gave it a bunch of sparkles. Okay, we better give them something to stand on. For that, we're going to use W5, 3, and 1. I'm going to start with my W5. So let's start with this back foot over here. I'm going to go right along his foot. And we're going to bring it out this way just a little bit more. And then this foot over here is above the ground. So I'm going to do a little bit right here and pull it backwards like this. I'm going to soften that front section there. Okay, and then for this foot, again, we'll start here at his toe. And then I'm going to bring it around. Like that. And again, this foot is above the ground. So let's do like that, just a little bit. Okay, and then we're going to add W3. So let's add that to this side. And then I want to add W1. And for W1, I want to go up past this top part. We're going to go up past this cute little foot here. And across over to here. And then we'll go back this way. I think I'll even this up, bring it out just a little bit more over here. Okay, then I'm going to go again with my W5. And I'm trying not to add too much, just a little bit more of that dark in there. And then I'm going to soften it just a tad with my W3. So there's our super cute celebration image all colored up. Didn't they turn out cute? And again, that was for my Color Wednesday blog post for August 3rd, 2016. If you would like to see what I did with this cute image and see the finished card, you're going to want to head over to the store blog on August 6th of 2016, and you can check that out. Um, if you have a question, make sure and leave me a comment, and I will get back to you. Otherwise, I hope you had fun coloring with me today, and we'll see you next time. Bye!